Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another game in my 1974 Chicago White Sox season. Now, since the last game we played, we have been on a horrible streak. We played 15 games since the last video um, and, uh, and game, uh, which was against Oakland. And in that 15 games, we went 5-10. and 10. So we are now 17 and 30 on the year, which is a terrible record. We're, as you can see right here, uh, we are last place in the AL West. This is the AL right here, and we are in last with a 362 winning percentage. Albeit, that's a lot better than the real life White Sox are doing. Um, you can see right here we've got the top batters, the top five batters so far during the season, and the top five pitchers. You will not see a Chicago White Sox in either one of those top five. And there's a reason for that, and the reason is that we're 17 and 30. So we are a bad team, and today we are going to take on the New York Yankees. Now you can see uh, this right up here is a counter that keeps track of all of the games that have to be played for the season to be complete. There are a total of 1,941 games. That includes, obviously, the games that Chicago isn't involved in. And we have played 600, and I have simmed and or played 620 of the 1,941 games. So um, we are going to go into today's game, and we are going to play the game. So let's go to the manual play. We're taking on the Yankees, uh, the 1974 Yankees. This is what we uh, look like uh, today. We're going to line up as Pat Kelly leading off and be in the DH. Carlos May will bat second and be in left field. Dick Allen is going to be the first baseman. Um, he's actually having a good season for us, batting 301. Um, and, uh, well, wait a minute. Is that is that what that was on the card? I don't know, because I don't know that he could be the 32 home runs already. I'd be very surprised if that's the case. Uh, but um, then you got Bill Melton, Belton, Bill Melton, hitting 242. Um, and he's going to be the third baseman. Um, yeah, that would be funny because we're only at game 47. If he's got 32 home runs in 47 games, man, that's crazy. Ken Henderson would bat fifth and be the center fielder. George Orta will bat sixth and be at second base. Sharp will be, I don't even know who that is. Sharp will be the bat seventh and be the right fielder. Ed Herman will do the catching and bat eighth. And Bucky Dent will play uh, catcher and or a shortstop and be the uh, ninth batter. With Stan Bonson pitching, um, and he has a 471 earned run average and a 157 whip. Over on the New York side, you've got Roy White leading off and playing left field. Um, Elliot Maddox uh, batting second and playing center field. Bobby Mercer is batting third and playing right field. Ron Bloomberg is the DH, the first ever DH in baseball history. Uh, Craig, Greg Nettles will bat fifth and be the third baseman. Sadakis will, be, will bat sixth and be the first baseman. Rick Dempsey, the Yankees had Rick Dempsey at this time, will bat seventh and be the catcher. Uh, Mason will bat eighth and be the shortstop, and Gene Michael, the stick, will bat ninth and be the second baseman. We are going up against Doc Medic, and so we will play the game. Maybe we can see if these are stats, if these are the current stats. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks like, no, it isn't. No, those weren't the current stats. The stats that we just looked at on the face page were the uh, the the player's actual stats. Because you can see right here, Bonson has a 951 earned run average, and I said he had like a 476. So the 476 was obviously on his card. The 951, unfortunately, is the real life thing. And he's going up against Roy White, who's hitting 273 and uh, has four home runs. So we will say that if the uh, defense is set, and that is a nice leadoff possible triple by Roy White. It's a double. Thank you. Thank you. It's only a double. Oh my God. Bonson is horrible, man. 951 coming into this game. That is crazy badness. 
So we're going to uh, see what happens here. He walks the next guy. So the first two batters are on with nobody out at first and second. And uh, Bobby Merce, Baba Merce is up. And he is going to ground out to second, but that's going to move runners over to second and third with only one down. And uh, Ron Bloomberg, the DH, is up. And he is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. And that's going to be an error on Dent. So, yeah, this is this is not going well. Runners are at the corners with only one out. And that's going to be another ground ball to the shortstop. And that gets by Dent for a single. So, Bill Sudeikis is up. Uh, this is uh, this is terrible. I, I This guy is crazy bad. That's going to be a force play. And... Uh, that um, there's two runs runs in now with runners at the corners and Rick Dempsey up, and that's going to be a 50% chance at a single. Let's hope they don't get it. They didn't. Thank you. So it's only two nothing after one, but you can see from his card he's not very good. We got Pat Kelly up. Pat Kelly. If you would remember, he did also play for the Yankees at one point. That's a ground ball to third, and it's just going to be an out. So Greg Nettles can make the play. Why can't Dent? Carlos May is up. And let's see what he can do. 5-6. That's going to be a fly ball to center field. And there are two down quickly for Dickey Allen. I'd like to see him knock one out of the park. And he didn't. He just missed doing that. He flies out to center field. We got no runs in the first. We're going to the top of the second with Jim Mason. I don't remember Jim Mason at all, but he grounded out. So there's one down. And uh, you can see this uh, ERA for Bonson's on the decline here. It's down to 946. Gene Michael DeStick is hitting 302 on the year. He strikes out. So there's two down very quickly, which is good. Good sign Roy White is up. Because we want to get some innings at least out of, if we can, out of uh, Bonson. That's going to be a single. So he's Roy White is aboard. And that brings up Elliot Maddox, their second batter. Runner is trying to get a lead. He's attempting to steal, so let's see if he can make it. I'm going to throw for the runner because, of course, it doesn't really matter. There's nobody else on, so you get him, you get him. If you don't, then you just bet you pitch to Maddox. But he is safe. He does steal second base, and uh, that brings up, and yes, Elliot Maddox is still at the plate, and uh, we'll see what he does. 3-5, that's going to be a walk. So that was really a waste of Roy Efforts' um, time and athleticism to steal second because, and then, then then there's a ground ball. So he gets out of the inning, doesn't allow any runs, and we're back up at the plate. Bill Melton, he is hitting 251 on the year with only nine home runs. That's going to be a ground ball, so there's one out. And that brings up Ken Henderson. And he's got a possible single here. 45% chance. 1 to 9, but it doesn't happen, so he's out. There's 2 down, and that is going to bring up the next man. And who is the next man? It is George Orta. George Orta with a pretty good card here. Um, at least versus Medich. But that's going to be a ground out, and we're out of the inning. And we're going to the top of the third. Let's see if Bonson can get us through the third. I would like that very much. But that is going to be a home run by Ron Blomberg. So, yeah. Uh, Greg Nettles is the batter. Nobody out. That's going to be a single. Look at, I mean, everything is right in the middle of the column. How do you make a guy? I know he had a 476 earned run average, and I realize a 476 earned run average in 1974 was very, very bad. Runner is unable to get a good lead, so he'll stay at first. And Bill Sudeikis is up, and that's going to be a fly ball. So there's one down, and uh, Rick Dempsey is the batter. 
And that's going to be a pop out to shortstop. So there's two down. And uh, Jim Mason is up. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Bonson gets himself out of the third after the leadoff home run. And uh, Bill Sharp is the batter. Of course, like I said, Bill Sharp, I don't even know who that guy is. But he's walking. I like that he's getting on base. We need people on base. We're down by three. Ed Herman is the batter. He is the catcher. Got a little bit of power, not a great defensive catcher. And he's only going to pop out to second base for the first out of the third inning for the uh, White Sox. Bucky Dent is up. Bucky Dent, who let a ball get by him earlier in the first inning and made an error, hits into a double play here. So Bucky Dent is our anti-MVP so far. Gene Michael is the batter. The stick. The stick is going to walk. At least he didn't. He at least he avoided all of those automatic doubles. So Roy White is the batter with the stick on first, and that's going to be a ground ball to second, and that will be a uh, ground out, and uh, it moves the runner over to second. It moves Gene Michael over to second. Elliot Maddox is up. He's going to get a 110. That's a single. Let's see if they try to score the runner. He's being waved home, so let's uh, throw for the lead runner because we can't afford to allow any more runs. Throw coming home, trailing runner being held, and it's a 1-13 to safe chance, and he is safe. So that's going to be the fourth run. Bonson strikes again. But how do you make this guy's card that bad? I, man, I, I don't... The reason I'm playing this season is because 1974 is the only season I don't have. So I would have been interested to look at his card and make sure that that's really how bad it looks. Um, I'm going to throw for the runner. He's only safe on a 1-2. to two. So hopefully he's out. No! No! He steals! Everything. And now there's a possible error. And that's, yes, and then there's an error on top of it. I mean, everything that could possibly go wrong in this game is going wrong. So, uh, that brings up um, Bobby Mercer. I don't know why they didn't advance the runner, because as you can see up here, the runner is still at first base. I don't know why that is. A glitch in the game, but that's a line out to third, and that wouldn't have allowed the runner. Oh, okay, now they put him on third. Now they did it. I don't know why the, that batter had to be cleared before they could actually show what's really happening. But Ron Blomberg is the batter with a man 90 feet away. And that's going to be a walk, and so he's going to put two runners on. We're down 4 nothing. Can't afford anything else to come across. And uh, he's going to walk the bases loaded. So, um, yeah, I think he's going to be done after this inning if it's even worth doing that. 6-10, that's going to be a ground ball to second, and it is a force play, and we're out of the inning. So he gave up the fourth run. I will make the change when we go back out there, but Pat Kelly is up right now in the bottom of the fourth. And that's a possible home run by Pat Kelly. That would be nice. And it is, so it's 4-1. to one. All right, all right, we're clawing our way back, maybe. Uh, Carlos May is the batter. Now, Medich on the year. Now, this is what his actual stats are. He has a, an actual 474 in the game, uh, not on the card. That was a ground out, so there is one down and Dick Allen up. Dick Allen, it would be nice if he could hit a home run for us. And no, he's not going to do that. He's going to line out to short. And so there's two down. And Belton Bill Melton. And he's going to get a 5-6, which is a fly ball. But we did get a run. Pat Kelly hit a home run for us. And I am going to make a substitution. So we are going to go Stan Bonson. And we are going to go to Bill Moran, who is a 9-R. And we're going to make that replacement and then we're going to go back to the uh, old drawing board. 
And uh, Rick Dempsey is the batter. And he's going to get a 3-6, which is a ground ball. And that's going to bring up Jim Mason. Now, against lefties, he's terrible, but um, that's going to be a strikeout plus injury, although actually in this game, I don't know if they even follow injuries. I don't think they do. For whatever reason, they don't actually do injuries. So Gene Michael, I don't, and maybe I put it on a setting where it wouldn't do injuries. I don't know. But anyway, Moran gets us out of the uh, out of the uh, fifth inning without allowing a run, and we're still down by three by the score of four to one with Ken Henderson, the center fielder, up. He's going to get a three eight, which is a ground ball. So there's one away. That brings up George Orta. George Orta is going to get a single, so he's aboard. Got a man on. Bill Sharp is the batter. Got to hope he can get something. And he doesn't. And in fact, he hits into a double play. So we're going to the top of the sixth. I'm going to keep uh, Moran out there. Uh, one seven is going to be a walk. So Roy White is aboard with a walk, which brings up Elliot Maddox. And uh, he, the hit and run is on. Base hit, runners advance two bases. Nice. Unreal. Okay, so Moran is still out there. I mean, you know, we're not winning this game. Let, let's just cut through the crap. He's attempting to steal. They're, try, they're trying to steal. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna throw for the runner. we got to try to get out somehow. The pitchers aren't doing it, so... 1 to 14, he's safe. And he is. So now there's runners at second and third with nobody out. And, uh, and Bobby Mercer up. And that's going to be a walk. So the ba bases are loaded with Ron Blomberg up. And he is going to hit a triple one to four or a single with possibly two runners scoring. It might be a single with two runners scoring. No, they just, oh yeah, it is, it is. The two runners did score, so yeah. Um, and then Greg Nettles is up. That's going to be a fly ball B. We'll probably score the runner on third. It's got the question mark after it. Runner is being waved home. I'm just going to stop the other runner from scoring. So that's going to be the third run in. Mercer scores. And uh, Bill Sudeikis is the batter. And that's going to be a walk. I'm going to get Moran through this inning because, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I just can't burn through the bullpen like this. 1-7 is going to be a pop out to third, so that's the second out of the inning. And Jim Mason is up. And that's going to be a double. That's going to score at least a run, maybe two. Runner being waved home. Throw for the lead runner, might as well, 65%, because he's the only other guy on base. Runner is being, let's see, cutoff rule. Safe. He's safe. Shocker. So it's like 9-1 now. Yep, and then Gene Michael the stick is up. And that's going to be a ground ball to third base. So uh, we're out of the inning, but, you know, he gave up five runs. And uh, we have uh, Ed Herman at the plate against Doc Medich, who has been cruising relatively. Pop out to first base. We got a run, but that was on a Pat Kelly homer. Solo home run. Bucky Dent is up. We're not putting anything together. We're not putting hits together. This isn't a team that can do that, I don't think very effectively. And uh, that brings up, speak of the devil, Pat Kelly. 
And he is going to hit a ground ball that will get through second base for a single to the outfield. And Carlos May is at the plate. And he is going to hit a fly ball to center, and that's going to be a fly out. And I will make the pitching change now. We're back at the top of the Yankees order. So we will take uh, Moran out, who has been horrible. And we're going to put in Tatum. He is a 9L. So we've got these really unbalanced guys who really should be pitching to matchups. But I've... I don't have that luxury. So um, uh, we got Roy White at the plate. Get on the pitcher's card, it's great, but he walks Roy White. And he'll probably try to steal, no doubt. He does. No, there was a bunt. Elliot Maddox bunts. Batter might beat it out. Uh, 1 to 15. Are you kidding me? This is crazy bad. I mean, my God. All right, runners are now at first and second with nobody out, and uh, and Bobby Mercer up. And he is going to get a line out to first base. So it, the good thing is there's a lot of left-handed batters in this Yankee lineup. Ron Blomberg is up. That's going to be a ground ball to third base B, so that should put runners at the corners with Greg Nettles at the plate. It doesn't, or maybe it did and we just didn't see it, but anyway, it's a fly ball left field, and so he gets out of the inning with no more runs being scored, which is good, and uh, Dick Allen is the batter. But we're down by eight, so I don't really put a lot of stock in our ability to come back into this game. That's a ground out, and... Uh, Bill Melton, Belton Bill Melton, is going to line out to shortstop. It seems like, and I've noticed this with the other games too, it seems like every guy that's up has a good column for, like, my team has a good column, but I always avoid those columns. Double one to four chance, and it will be a double. So Ken Henderson gets himself a double. Let's see if we can knock him in with George Orta up. And that's going to be a 1-3. That's going to be a ground ball. So he's out, and we're going to the top of the eighth. I am going to keep uh, um, Ken Tatum out there pitching. 3-12, possible home run. Nice. Just what I needed. But it's a double. It's only a double. Calm down, everybody. It's just a double. And uh, Bill Sudeikis is the batter. I mean, this is bad. I, I've never uh, really, this pitching on this White Sox team is horrible. You never have a good choice of anybody. Uh, they're going to try to, uh, let's see, single. Runners are at the corners. Run didn't score, but I'm sure there will be one scoring. Jim Mason is the batter. Runner unable to get a good lead. They're trying to steal. They're trying to rub it in. I Like, they're up eight runs, and they're trying to rub it in on me. All right, Jim Mason. That's going to be a single. That'll score another run. Just really horrible, horrible, horrible pitching. I mean, that's really the problem. Um, although, really, we've only scored one run, too. So, I can't say that that's that our offense isn't somewhat of a problem, although I did see the scores roll in on the quick plays that I did to get to this point. And uh, we did score some runs in some of those games. Uh, runner, that's going to be a fly to right. So there's one down, and Roy White, we're back to the top of the Yankees' order. That is going to be a double 1-12. to 12. I mean, I'm sitting here. I don't even want to play this game anymore, but I have to. And they just keep getting on and getting hits and getting on and getting hits. All right. Uh, runner is being waved home. Let's try to, sh you know, cut them down at the plate again. The pitchers aren't getting outs, so I need my outfielders and stuff to try to throw a guy out. But no, it doesn't happen. He scores. So, uh, yeah, they have another run. 
and another, yeah, a couple runs, whatever it is. And uh, Elliot Maddox is the batter. Ground ball. Nice. Ground ball double play. Not a double play because there was nobody on. And in fact, another run scored. And so it's 13 to 1. But there are two outs. Thank the Lord. And that's a single. So another guy gets on. And Ron Blomberg is up, the DH. He is going to get a double one tonight, and it just never ends. I, we cannot get anybody out. I've never, I've really, this is, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. These cards are not made correctly. First of all, this the White Sox team in 1974 was an almost 500 team. And you are not by any degree seeing that with the way these cards are. The pitchers are horrible. They're absolutely horrible. And it's, I mean, it should not, that shouldn't be the case. So, Greg, I mean, it shouldn't be the case to get a team to 500, you know? So, anyway, uh, the finally, mercifully, the final out there. And uh, Bill Sharp is the batter for us. That's going to be a single. Uh, but we're down by 14-1, to 1, which is ridiculous. Ed Herman is up. I mean, at least I managed this game, because if the computer had, we would have gone completely through the entire bullpen. And then we have Boston next on the schedule. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but we, we go to play Boston next, and they were a, a pretty good team in 1974. Um, Helen's 75, they were in the World Series. So uh, we're on by an error there. This would all be really nice if we were in a competitive game, but we're not. Single one to seven possibility, and it's going to be a line out. So that's the first out, and uh, Carlos May is the batter. And he is going to get a double one to five. And really, I don't even like seeing us do this because we're not going to win. So it's just prolonging me playing this game and doing this video. But uh, a run does come in. It's 14-2, to two and Dick Allen is the batter. Um, that's going to be a single. And I'm not going to send anybody any extra base. We're just going to hold the runners because we need runs. So everybody has to be not thrown out trying to get an extra base. And um, that makes it 14-3 to with Belton Bill Melton, the batter. And they bring in a new pitcher. They're going to bring in Dave Pagan. He can walk some people, that guy can. But there's a double play, or not really. It doesn't need to be a double play, so it's just an out. Um, and I will go get the pitcher, and we will bring in somebody else. Uh... I'm going to bring in Acosta. Luckily, he's only going to, at worst, pitch one inning. And, and that's another thing. Everybody's so unbalanced. It's crazy. Ground ball C. So there's one out. Sudeikis is out. Rick Dempsey is the batter. He is going to get a catcher card, and that's going to be a pop-out. Ed Herman makes the play. And Jim Mason is the batter. And that's going to be a single. So he Acosta comes in and allows his first hit after he gets two outs. Which gives way to Gene Michael. And Gene Michael is going to walk. And so now we have two runners on with two outs. Acosta wants to join the Let's Allow a Run to the Yankees club. And, that, and he's going to do it. It's going to be... Uh, Double, possible double, or a single, but uh, either way, a run's going to score, and that's a double. Probably two runs score on that. And Acosta came into this with a 2.03 earned run average, but only two-thirds of an inning pitched. Um, we are going to, uh, or maybe the two-thirds is what he pitched so far, I don't know. Uh, we're going to throw for the lead runner. Again, try to get us out of the inning without having Acosta throw another pitch. Um, let the ball through for a play at the plate. Now you got to figure one of these times that roll has to come up for me. One of these times. 
But no, this is not going to be one of those times. So another, like, uh, this is what is, how many runs now? Two runs have scored. It's 16-3. to three. Elliot Maddox is up. 6-8. That's going to be a fly ball, and that'll be the final out for the Yankees in the ninth. But we have to get 13 runs right here. Ken Henderson is up against Dave Pagan. That's going to be a walk. He gets aboard. He didn't have much of anything there, but he managed to find something, and he's aboard. Again, can't steal, can't do anything imaginative because we need 13 runs. And that's going to be a walk, so there's two runners on with nobody out. But again, we're down by 13. Bill Sharp is the batter. And that will be a walk to load the bases with no one out. Now, still, if I were the Yankees manager, I wouldn't make a pitching change, but he might be doing that pretty soon here. 1-4 is a line out to shortstop. So there is one down now. And uh, Bucky Dent, the batter. That's going to be a catcher card X. Let's see what happens on that. It's a wild pitch. And so Bucky Dent will still be at the plate. And another run is in. It's 16-4. to four. And that's going to be a possible double. That would be nice. And it is a double. So two more runs come in. Now, if you were going to look at this afterwards, you would say, well, 16-6, to six, at least it was, you know, a, a battle royale. But actually, no, it wasn't. We were really out. We were schooled. That's going to be a strikeout for the second out, mercifully. And uh, that'll bring up. Carlos May. And that is going to be a double 1 to 13 or a single. And that's going to be another run. So it is 16 to 7. So we made a game out of it, kind of, but not really. And Dick Allen is up. And Dick Allen is going to strike out. And so that will be the game. And we're going to go get the box score. So you can take a little look at that. Uh, that's our Chicago team. So let's go get the box score. Retry it. And there you go. So I'll let you guys take a quick look at this, at the batters. I mean, if you watched any of, the, you know, if you watched most of the video or all of the video, you know how everybody did. We'll look at the pitchers here. So... Bonson lowered his earned run average, if that's even possible, by allowing three earned runs in four innings. He's down to a 936 earned run average. Bill Moran is up to an 856. Tatum is at 750. And Acosta is at 329. And so that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.